You ready? His mic's gonna break work too. All right, good morning. Welcome to Ship Jump 2020. I am, Com I am Commander Lonnie Christian. And I am First Class George Albert. We will be your hosts this morning and we'll be sharing information about the event, the Regiment of Midshipmen and the Academy over the next couple hours. President Brennan is just about to jump. He's the first one to do so every year and after that will be, will be followed by the companies, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta, and then the independent students. We'll all line up and jump. Throughout the event, student names will appear at the top of the screen. The students are lined up alphabetically and will announce each company as they begin. Thank you for joining us today, and again, welcome to Ship Jump 2020. Good morning, this is President Brennan at Maine Maritime Academy, and today is Ship Jump 2020. The Ship Jump really began with my, with my father, so he was, uh, he was the first commandant of midshipmen, um, and that was in like 1985, 86, I guess is when he started. It, as, as challenging as it will be for some, as daunting as it seems when you stand up on that platform and you look out and you, you know, you contemplate that, you know, you're, you know, 20 feet or so above, above the water. Um, um, what they should keep in mind is what they should keep in mind for their, their entire time here at the school. I mean, our job is to, is to prepare them, um, to be successful and, um, and the metaphor of the ship jump is 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 apt in this regard. Um, we're all in this together, and uh, it is a it, it's it, it really is a, a wonderful tradition. Um, I know um, I've run into to to people who have graduated from the academy, and you know the ship jump always, always comes up. Good morning. This is President Brennan at Maine Maritime Academy, and today is. All right, folks, so President Brennan just jumped into the water and he's making his way to the shore. I'm a far away. Okay. This is Amal Masawi right now. The reed jumps in. All right, there he goes. Copy. Copy. Who's next? Aston Arden. Arden Aston? Aston. So are we going to keep talking on this or no? So the weather outside right now is 59 degrees. There's a slight wind. Water temperature is right about 60 degrees as well. So a little cold out there, but uh, as you see, the, our ship jumpers are all making it to shore.
So also we have in the water, we have five rescue divers as well as a rescue boat. Uh, and on the rescue boat is Captain Nathan Gandy. So before our students came, uh, came to actually do ship jump today, they uh, did participate in a pool regulated practice where they practiced jumping in um, off of a, a platform. They did not practice jumping off as high as, high as this is, um, but they're, they started there and, and now they're jumping off the ship for real. Also another note that although the rescue divers in the water are actual students at Maine Maritime Academy, they've all taken a course here that is led by Mr. Tim Schroeder. Traditionally, ship jump is a is an event that marks the end of RPT, uh, regimental preparatory training. So this is traditionally done at the end of it, right before school starts. Uh, but being today, this is a in an odd year where we're doing it a little bit later. Uh, also, the conditions are much better today. So as, as these students begin to, to swim their way to shore, uh, the tide is going out. So their distance that they're swimming now uh, for Alpha Company is a little bit longer. When Delta does it a little bit later on, uh, they're not going to have as long as a swim. Uh, but being that the water is a little colder, uh, it makes that swim to shore just a little rough. Hello class of 2024, this is Jeff Wright, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Alumni Relations. We're so glad to have you on campus. You are joining a long line of alumni who have completed this same ship jump tradition. Congratulations on completing the jump today and good luck with the rest of your semester. Hello class of 2024, this is Jeff Wright, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Alumni Relations. We're so glad to have you on campus. You are joining a long line of alumni who have completed this same ship jump tradition. Congratulations on completing the jump today and good luck with the rest of your semester. Hello class of 2020.
come back on. So this is Alpha Company jumping right now. Alpha Company is comprised of 29 midshipmen. So some facts about uh, Maine Maritime Academy. We're a public co-educational college. Our student population numbers are approximately 950 students. They study an arrangement of, of degrees from engineering, management, science, and transportation. MMA, MMA is known for its rigorous hands-on educational programs that give students with the practical skills, knowledge, and training to launch successful careers once they graduate, uh, students gain their sea time, professional experience. All of these things are all gained aboard the training ship State of Maine, uh, which is where our students are jumping off right now. For our, our independent students, uh, the Vessel Operations and Technology, they go on the schooner Bowden, and that's where they get more of their practical hands-on experience. Our students become world-class mariners, engineers, supply chain managers, logistics professionals, and scientists here in Maine and beyond. Our job placement rate for MMA graduates is in excess of 90% within 90 days of graduation.
Hello, I am second class Cornell. I was a striker this year for Bravo Company, and I am also the band company vocalist. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to all the muggles. Uh, when a Bravo Company was doing their practice session in the pool for Ship Jump, they all, it was kind of like their first real big break from RPT, and they got to talk to each other and have fun. And it looked like they were really all getting along. Um, and I have really high hopes for all of you guys, all of the, the Bravo mugs. Uh, you're going to be a really good class. So a little quick history about uh, Maine Maritime Academy. The Academy was founded by the act of the 90th Maine Legislation on March 21st, 1941. Maine Maritime Academy is one of six maritime colleges in the United States. The original class had 29 students. Rear Admiral Douglas Desmukes, a USN, a veteran of World War I, who came out of retirement to head the school. World War, II, World War II required a rapid buildup of the U.S. merchant fleet with a critical need to train deck and engineering officers. The Academy met the challenges, graduating its first class in 1943, producing more than 300 officers who served at sea during the war. Three gave their lives in service to the nation, and many others were wounded, wounded in this action. In the post-war era, the program expanded from the original concept to a three-year course of study, and in 1960 to a four-year course. Bachelor of Science degree programs and others are also offered to this program, and we'll talk about them later. The Academy now offers two undergraduate degrees in academic courses of study in four maritime-related fields, engineering, international business and logistics, marine sciences, and marine transportation. The graduate studies programs offer masters of science degrees in international business and management and masters in command. Many academy students prepare for careers and officers in the U.S. Merchant Marines and the U.S. Armed Forces. The college is consistently recognized for providing a high-value education by organizations such as Brookings Institute, the U.S. News and World Report, and Money Magazine.
Hello, class of 2024. This is Kelly Gualtieri, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Admissions and Enrollment Management. We're so glad to finally have you on campus. Congratulations on completing Ship Drum today and good luck with the rest of the semester. So we're beginning to wrap up on, on Alpha Ship Jump. Bravo is headed up the gangway now, getting their life jackets and, and headed on to, to start their next evolutions. So some highlights of the class of 2024. The class size is 252 students. 132 of them are regimental. So 132 students being regimental students, meaning that at the end of their, their freshman year, they will go out aboard the state of Maine uh, and they will go out for 74 days, go across the Atlantic, go down the, the East Coast, go start seeing the world. So that means that 120 of those students are non-regimental students, meaning that they are in either the International Business and Logistics Program, they're in the Marine Sciences, they're in Vessel Operations Technology, they're in those other marine-related fields. So some other interesting facts. So 159 of those students are from Maine. 31 are from the New England area. Two are from Vermont, 11 of them are from Connecticut, two are from Rhode Island, five are from New Hampshire, and another 11 are from Massachusetts. So now out of the, the New England area, other states that, that are represented from this class of 2024, there's one from Alaska, one from Alabama, three from California, two from Delaware, eight from Florida, two from Georgia, one from Hawaii, three from Illinois, one from Maryland, two from Michigan, one from Mississippi, one from North Carolina, six are from New Jersey, another six are from New York, Three are from Ohio, one's from Oregon, two is from Pennsylvania, another two are from Tennessee, two from Texas, there's seven from Virginia, 
four from Washington, one from West Virginia, and we have two international students. Here's some other interesting facts about the class of 2024. So most common male names, male first names, eight are either Samuel or Sam, four from are Benjamins, four are Christophers, four are Colbys, four are Davids, four are Hunters, four are Jacobs, four are Logans, and four Zacharies. And Every single one of those Zachary's are all spelled differently, but they're all Zachary. So the most common female first names, three Olivia's, two Aubrey's, two Darby's, two Megan's, and two Zoe's. And here's the last alpha mug. She's getting ready to jump. So up next is Bravo Company. And that was the first Bravo mug.
So as the first few Bravo mugs start making their way to shore, greeting them on the beach is the Rue, First Class Owen McLean, as well as their, their company OICs. For Alpha, it was Second Class Christian Shepherd. For Bravo, it is Second Class Sawyer King. For Charlie, later on, it'll be Second Class John Watt. And for Delta, it'll be Second Class Griffin De Marteau. Hello, this is Matt Harris, Regimental Commander. I want to congratulate the Regimental Class of 2024 for completing their preparatory training. I also want to wish you luck throughout Mug Month and the rest of your time here at the Academy. Keep working hard, get involved, and make sure to stay focused on your academics. My name is Midshipman First Class Hawk Magliozzi. I'm the Alpha Company Commander and a Deck Training Officer. I'm proud to congratulate the Mugs on completing our PT and making it this far. Welcome to the Academy Mugs. So it's turn, beginning to turn out as a, as a pretty nice day outside. It's partly cloudy. Temperature is beginning to warm up a little bit. That water is still just as cold, though. So it's, it's warmed up to about 61 degrees outside. Their distance as they're swimming to shore is getting just a, a little shorter as, as the tide's going out. So Bravo Company is one of the larger companies that we have out here. There is a number of faces that are down here at the waterfront from faculty and staff coming out to support the students.
as well as there has people that have been coming by in, in uh, their own personal boats and watching as their students are jumping. And as these students are coming in, they're all getting to, getting their picture taken with a, a sign that says, ship jump, I did it, and with their company flags that are right next to them. So don't, don't wear moms and dads. The, the pictures will be out later for you all. So a little bit about the, the regiment. So the mission of the regiment is to develop future leaders of the industry and society through a challenging structured environment that requires self-discipline, personal growth, personal development, teamwork, strength of character, and social responsibility. Some of the, the core values of the regiment is leadership, honor, tea, honor integrity, discipline, and camaraderie. That camaraderie piece is, is a huge one. So as our students are jumping, they are jumping in tennis shoes. There are Carhartt pants, a navy blue t-shirt, and that light blue chambray. chambray. So that's a, that's a work uniform here at the school. So when they're on the training ship, when they're doing odds and odd jobs here and there, that's the, the uniform that they're wearing. So it, it does get a little heavy. But if when they're out in the industry, that's the standard of standard of work attire that they should be wearing. And who knows? Maybe that maybe one day that if they've never had this training, that they would have never known what it felt like to be in their car hearts in a chambray and it be completely soaked and having to swim in it.
Hello and congratulations to all completing Ship Dump today. My name is Jennifer Dudley. I'm a member of the Maine Maritime Academy Parents Association as well. And my son, Robert, is a sophomore this year in the MTO program. So we did this last year. Um, we're sorry we couldn't meet all of the parents and the students this year like we had hoped, but we hope that we can meet you all soon. Uh, to everybody that's completing Ship Jump today, a big congratulations to you all. It's a huge milestone, and we'll all be cheering you on for many, many more great milestones to come. So, big congratulations. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you are just joining us now, we are still on Bravo Company. A little more than half of them still off the jump. Charlie Company is making their way down the hill now and are getting ready to head on to the ship. My name is Second Class Van S. I was a striker for Bravo Company this year. My ship jump was a super special experience for me, and I want to congratulate all the mugs for their accomplishments. I'm very excited to see where the school takes them in life. The opportunities here are endless. My name is Second Class Van S.
Hi, I'm First Class Owen McLean. I'm the Regimental Operations Officer, otherwise known as the RU. I just wanted to congratulate the class of 2020 on making it through ship jump and RPT. Just remember, it's a long road ahead and we got to keep working. Uh, fun fact, my year, we didn't have the ship, so we jumped off the dock. So it's just nice to have the ship back here. So we're beginning to wrap up on, on Bravo's ship jump. Charlie is making their way up the gangway now, grabbing their PFDs and headed back to the Fantail.
the energy down here on the waterfront this morning is absolutely amazing. The camaraderie that are the other shipmates are cheering them on as they're jumping off the ship. From the striker staff that are cheering them on as well. And we're beginning to wrap up Bravo Company. Charlie Company is on deck. Wind's beginning to pick up a little bit. Still making out for, for a pretty good day though. These are the last two mugs of Bravo Company. And this is the, the last Bravo mug. And this is going to begin Charlie Company.
And there she goes. First Charlie mug in the water. Hi everyone, my name is Julie Tribo. My son Caleb is a senior this year in the VOT program and I want to congratulate the class of 2024. MMA ship jump is a big deal and congratulations. We're so proud of you today and um, we just want to wish you well in your studies at MMA and I just also want to say a quick shout out to the parents um, congratulations to all of you too. We know it's a sad thing to not be able to be there today and we wished we had had the chance to meet you all in person like we normally would have, but just know that we're always here for you. Reach out to us at any time with any questions that you have um, if, or if there's ever anything we can do to help you. And again, just congratulations to the students and the parents. If your kids have made it this far, you've done a great job.
Hi, I'm Kathy Smith, and I am part of the Maine Maritime uh, Association for Parents. Um, it's a great group of um, people that help both the students and the parents stay connected to the school, and um, they filter all kinds of questions through the parent association. Um, so reach out to them if you do have questions about things that are going on with your students. Um, congratulations, uh, class of 2024, you made it through. Ship Jump is the end of uh, your RPT, and so you've done great. Uh, my son Sam did it in the class of 2019, so it would have been 2015. Uh, great experience, sorry you guys have to not be able to share it live with all of us, but we're cheering you on and you, you'll do great. Um, good luck and to the parents, hope you stream and watch your kiddos um, and cheer them on from afar. So here's some uh, statistics of the class of 2024. The class size is 252 students. 132 of those students are regimental. 120 of, the, of them are non-regimental. There's 50 females and 202 males. 159 of them are from Maine. 31 are from New England. So a little bit more in, into detail about them. There's 121 are engineering majors, 76 are transportation majors, 26 are science majors, and 29 are business majors. So I'll break it down a little bit further. There are 21 marine engineering operations students, 38 marine engineering technologies, 15 marine systems engineering, 11 marine system engineering design, 11 power engineering operations, and 25 power engineering and technology. That's 76 transportation majors, breaking it down a little bit more. 56 are marine transportation operations, 17 are vessel operations and technology, and three are small vessel operations, and that's a, a two-year associate's degree. Out of those 26 science degrees, working it out a little more, there's two coastal marine environmental science, one coastal marine environmental science and small vessel operations, so that's a dual major, 10 marine biology, nine marine biology and small vessel operations, another dual major, one oceanography, and three oceanography and small vessel operations. Again, another dual major. So some of the, the more common male names out of this, this class of 2024. Eight are named Sam or Samuel. Four are named Benjamin. Four are named Christopher. Four are named Colby. Four are named David, four are named Hunter, four are named Jacob, four are named Logan, and four are named Zachary. And all four of those Zacharys are spelled differently. Some of the more common female first names, three are named Olivia, three are named Aubrey, three are named Darby, 
Two are named Megan, and two are named Zoe. And that's Z-O-E and Z-O-E-E. -E. So the most common last name that we have is Brown. There are five people with the last name of Brown. So a little more uh, demographics. So there are two students over the age of 30. Eight are from 25 to 30. 27 are 20 to 24. And 215 are from the ages of 17 to 18. Some, some other uh, little interesting facts. We do have a set of twins within this class. We have one person born on Christmas Day and one person born on New Year's Day. So we do have rescue divers in the water, just as a safety precaution. Those rescue divers are students. They are all students at Maine Maritime. In the, the safety boat, right to the right of the divers, that's operated by Captain Gandy. Hello class of 2024. This is Kelly Gualtieri, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Admissions and Enrollment Management. We're so glad to finally have you on campus. Congratulations on completing Ship Drum today and good luck with the rest of the semester.
Hello all, my name is Sarah Pono. I'm the Regimental Executive Officer. I just want to congratulate the class of 2024 and the Mugs on participating in one of the oldest traditions at the Academy. Um, you guys are lucky. Uh, my class didn't have the ship there, so we just jumped off the dock. Um, but it's still a, a great experience and you guys are going to become really close over your next four or five years here. Um, have a good time with it. So we're just now starting to wrap up on Charlie Company. Last two mugs. It has warmed up a little bit since we first started this. Started out at 59 degrees and we're up to a balmy 62. Wind's picking up just a little bit more than it was earlier. But the tide is still growing out. And here we go. Here's the last Charlie mug. Just waiting for the water to be clear underneath him, and then he'll be jumping off. And there he goes. That was the last Charlie mug. Delta's up on deck. But that tide is still going out, making it just a little bit less of distance for them to travel as they're swimming to shore. But just because the, the air temp is getting warmer does not make that water temperature any warmer. And that was the first Delta mug.
My name is Second Class Van S. I was a striker for Bravo Company this year. My ship jump was a super special experience for me, and I want to congratulate all the mugs for their accomplishments. I'm very excited to see where the school takes them in life. The opportunities here are endless.
Good morning. This is President Brennan at Maine Maritime Academy, and today is Ship Jump 2020. The Ship Jump really began with my with my father. So he was uh, he was the first common and midshipman, um, and that was in, in 1985, 86, I guess is when he started. It, as, as challenging as it will be for some, as daunting as it seems when you stand up on that platform and you look out and you, you know, you contemplate that, you know, you're, you know, 20 feet or so above, above the water. Um, um, what they should keep in mind is what they should keep in mind for their, their entire time here at the school. I mean, our job is to, is to prepare them, um, to be successful and, um, and the metaphor of the ship jump is 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 apt in this regard. Um, we're all in this together, and uh, it is a it, it's it, it really is a, a wonderful tradition. Um, I know um, I've run into to to people who have graduated from the academy, and you know the ship jump always, always comes up. Hello, I am second class Cornell. I was a striker this year for Bravo Company, and I'm also the band company vocalist. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to all the muggles. Uh, when Bravo Company was doing their practice session in the pool for Ship Jump, they all, it was kind of like their first real big break from RPT, and they got to talk to each other and have fun. And it looked like they were really all getting along. Um, and I have really high hopes for all of you guys, all of the, the Bravo mugs. Uh, you're going to be a really good class.
So we're starting to, to finish up on Delta. Get the, the last two mugs, get ready to jump. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day outside. And there it goes, the last mug of Delta. Um, hi, my name is Jamie Roy, and I'm uh, part of the MMMPA, a proud member of the MMPA. I joined two years ago when my son, uh, Connor, began his uh, mission at MMA. He is now a uh, junior uh, in the regiment, um, Connor Roy. He's an incredible kid. I know if you ever need anything, you could reach out to him for sure. He's just that kind of kid. Uh, please don't hesitate. Um, the MMA, MMPA, sorry, um, is happy to have to be able to help the students. And we've done a lot of fun things. Um, we're so sorry we couldn't be at Ship Jump today. We would normally have been there with candy bars and handing out the towels that some of you um, hopefully were able to get. Um, we just, we love, that's one of our, probably our favorite events is being a part of that. Um, even though we don't know a lot of the kids after year after year. Uh, we've all been there and done that, and uh, it's just such a special, special day. Um, but know that we're all, all cheering from you from afar and just so incredibly happy and proud of you um, to have come this far and to make it through that RPT is just amazing. Um, there's, like Jen said, there's so many other milestones to come. This is not the end by any means. You've got a lot in front of you, a um, lot of hard work, um, it'll pay off, I promise. I've seen the success my son has already had, um, and he's only a junior. Um, so keep working hard, keep going. Know that the Parent Association is always there for you. We do fun events throughout the year. Sometimes um, we give out gift cards just randomly to students. So be looking for some goodies from us. You never know, and we might pop in when we can, of course, safely, um, and provide some, some fun things for you guys um, and gals. Um, again, have a great year. 2024 class is something you're never going to forget. This is a definitely a moment um, that you're going to remember forever, whether it be COVID or the ship jump itself. It really is a monumental event um, and really a rite of passage for all of you. It's just in incredible. So for the parents, I say hi, welcome. Uh, we hope you've liked our Facebook page. Um, it's got great information. If you haven't been there, you really need to go on and, and look. If you ever have any questions, Deidre Davis actually answers many of those questions for us. But know that we always post our videos when we do our raffles. And, uh, and speaking of raffle, we have a raffle coming up that you'll be getting information in the mail about. We're doing a uh, tuition raffle. So you could actually win uh, a, tu a free tuition. Um, so more details will come in the mail to you um, by um, the end of September. So we hope to hear from you regarding that. But any proceeds of the events that we run, um, all the monies go back to the students. So like I said, if you have an idea of something that you'd like to see us do, um, please reach out and let us know. That includes parents. If you have any suggestions of what we could do more for the kids to make it a better environment for them down at MMA, uh, we'd be happy to um, listen and, and, and take your suggestions. Again, congratulations, 2024. You've got this. Uh, you're here. You made it. I'm so incredibly proud of you. Um, go MMA. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Commander Christian back here. So right now we are waiting on the independent students to make their way down from the football field 
down to the waterfront. So as we close out the regimental students, the mugs, I would just like to say that you know the regiment allows the students to grow through this intensive and structured programming. Leadership is at the forefront of this uh, this experience for them, and so they get to serve in leadership uh, billets uh, during their time here. In fact, many of the uh, the midshipmen that are behind the scenes that are helping facilitate uh, putting away the the life jackets uh, and bringing the folks on to the shore. We also have the scuba divers. Those are also students as well. And we have folks on the safety boat that are midshipmen uh, supporting. So there's different, lots of opportunities for the students to, uh, to be involved, uh, even in an in exercise and or event like ship jump. So for just as a reminder, uh, the regiment of midshipmen has the following majors. We have marine engineering operations. We have marine engineering technology, marine systems engineering, which is the licensed track five-year program. And then we have the marine transportation operations major. There's also independent students that could also be part of the regiment as well. And they get to serve in regimental uh, jobs as well. Other programs that are at the Maine Maritime Academy also include Navy ROTC. Uh, so the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps is also located here at Maine Maritime Academy, where we have students that are on scholarships and or uh, challenging themselves for scholarships through the college program, and also a program called the Strategic Sea Lift uh, Midshipman Program, SSMP, or the SSO program, the Strategic Sea Lift Officer Program where they provide themselves an opportunity for an unlimited license major uh, to serve in the United States Navy in an inactive reserve capacity. Uh, there is some financial resources that are tied to that opportunity, but also years of service that uh, the students get involved with that. And that's through the Merchant Marines. Uh, the, the Maritime Administration uh, sets up this particular program with the United States Navy to provide merchant mariners in the time of need, if our country would need it, to have merchant marines who are naval officers man our naval ships, or some of our naval ships, during a time of crisis. So there's opportunities there for our students here at the Regiment of Midshipmen at Maine Maritime Academy to, to participate in the Navy ROTC unit. Obviously, uh, Mariner Athletics is also uh, a big part of our mission here as well. And due to COVID-19, uh, this particular semester, we had to not been able to do a certain number of our sporting activities uh, that are normally done during the fall semester. But we do have, uh, for men's sports, we have basketball, cross country, golf, lacrosse, sailing, soccer, and swimming. For women's sports, we have basketball, cross country, lacrosse, sailing, soccer, swimming, and volleyball. So we do appreciate everyone staying on the call right now, watching as we're uh, waiting for the independent students to arrive. We've had lots of folks that uh, have been facilitating this event to get this thing going, and we have great weather to boot. So it's been a great event so far, uh, having the midshipmen jump, and then we're just now uh, getting ready to have the independent students come down the hill and be able to participate as well. So it's a great event for them as well. Good morning, this is President Brennan at Maine Maritime Academy, and today is Ship Jump 2020. The ship jump really began with my with my father. So he was uh, he was the first commandant of midshipman, um, and that was in, in 1985, 86, I guess is when he started. It as as challenging as it will be for some, as daunting as it seems, when you stand up on that platform and you look out and you you know you contemplate that you know you're you know 20 feet or so above above the water. Um, um, what they should keep in mind is what 
they should keep in mind for their their entire time here at the school. I mean, our job is to is to prepare them um, to be successful, and um, and the metaphor of the ship jump is 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 apt in this regard. Um, we're all in this together, and uh, it is a, it, it's it it really is a, a wonderful tradition. Um, I know um, I've run into. To, to people who have graduated from the academy and, you know, the ship jump always, always comes up. Hello, class of 2024. This is Jeff Wright, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Alumni Relations. We're so glad to have you on campus. You are joining a long line of alumni who have completed this same ship jump tradition. Congratulations on completing the jump today and good luck with the rest of your semester. To the class of 2024, congratulations on completing this year's RPT. This year has brought new challenges and with it, it demanded new solutions, adaptability and flexibility. Your entry here into Maine Maritime's regiment will always be marked as untrodden ground. I encourage you to take what you have learned here and do better than those before you. I'm excited to sail with each and every one of you. And until then, I anticipate to see how each and every single one of you grow. Until then, second class, Raymond Horn. Hello class of 2024. This is Kelly Gualtieri, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Admissions and Enrollment Management. We're so glad to finally have you on campus. Congratulations on completing Ship Drum today and good luck with the rest of the semester. Hello, I am second class Cornell. I was a striker this year for Bravo Company and I'm also the band company vocalist. Uh, I just wanna say congratulations to all the muggles. Uh, when Bravo Company was doing their practice session in the pool for ship jump, they all, it was kind of like their first real big break from RPT and they got to talk to each other and have fun. And it looked like they were really all getting along. Um, and I have really high hopes for all of you guys, all of the, the Bravo mugs. Uh, you're gonna be a really good class. This fall's academic calendar has been condensed to 12 weeks, and our goal is to complete the semester with as much face-to-face -face instruction as possible. In order to meet that goal, we have developed 12 ways to get to 12 weeks. By pledging to make these 12 steps part of your everyday life at Maine Maritime Academy, you are committing to doing your part to limit the spread of COVID-19. I will wash or sanitize my hands regularly so we can reach 12 weeks and I can maintain my on-campus experience and graduate on time. I will be practicing social distancing and staying six feet apart whenever possible so that we can reach 12 weeks and so I can get back out onto the soccer field with my teammates. I will wear a mask when around others, indoors and outside, so we can reach our 12 weeks and I can continue my coursework without delay and I can graduate on time. I will stay in my residence when I'm sick so that we can reach 12 weeks and I can continue with the hands-on learning that I came to MMA for. I will check myself every day so we can reach our 12 weeks and so that I don't spread the virus to my campus nor community. I'll keep my social circles small and avoid large gatherings, especially indoors, so that we can reach 12 weeks and that I protect those around me. I promise to do my part and stay local, spending my time in Castine and the surrounding areas so we can all meet our 12-week goal. This is so we're able to have graduation in May, have winter and spring athletes play their sports, and also return to normal classes. And for this upcoming semester, I'm going to be more accountable and more respectful. But I'm also going to try and hold others accountable in respectful ways so that we can reach 12 weeks and get back to our personal norms. I will be keeping track of the people I come in contact with every day so we can reach 12 weeks and I can have my senior basketball season and others will be able to have theirs too. I will keep my semester goals in mind so that we can reach 12 weeks and I can continue my hands-on classwork. I will follow MMA's safety guidelines and policies so we can reach 12 weeks and I can protect my friends and the faculty and staff at Maine Maritime Academy and to protect those in our larger community. 
I will be flexible and willing to make adjustments so I can graduate on time. Together, we can make the health and safety of our community a priority. Together, we can achieve success. Hello all, my name is Sarah Pono. I'm the Regimental Executive Officer. I just want to congratulate the class of 2024 and the Mugs on participating in one of the oldest traditions at the Academy. Um, you guys are lucky. Uh, my class didn't have the ship there, so we just jumped off the dock, um, but it's still a, a great experience and you guys are going to become really close over your next four or five years here. Um, have a good time with it. All right, good afternoon, folks. Uh, appreciate your appreciate your your time of at least sticking by with us uh, while we get our independent students down here. So, uh, just a little bit more about uh, about ship jump and and what at least my role here is. So, just like I said in the beginning, I'm first class George Albert. I'm the regimental senior striker in coordination with uh, first class Owen McLean, who is the regimental operations officer. Um, together, the two of us have been putting on RPT and and the events that the uh, the midshipmen under guidance or, or mugs have been going on with from the time they stepped foot on campus from on the 19th of August all the way up until up until today. Um, so it's been a, a constantly evolving times um, being with what's going on. So we've we've completely remodeled how RPT looked from years past and and how ship jump looks this year. So our, our roles are to train and prepare the the mugs for being a part of the regiment, for being uh being in this industry that is a, a very small industry but is also very rewarding at the same time. 99% of the, the world's goods is moved by water. Water transportation gets the most tons per mile. Better than, than air freight, better than, than ground transportation. So we we, uh, we just played you all our our twelve weeks twelve weeks, and how we're how we're our students are trying to stay on campus. So it's everybody's job to to be a part of that, not just selected individuals. Um, but those those twelve weeks twelve ways of twelve weeks those twelve students those are from across the board of what the student population feels and everybody wants to be on campus. I know, I know that I do, especially being a senior and all. So our, our independent students are making their way down right now as we speak. There's about a, about 40 of them jumping. Like again, uh, I'd like to thank the, the ship rates, the striker staff, as well as uh, the commandant staff for all of us, uh, all of us down here for one supporting the students. as well as thanking the rescue divers and the uh, 
operators on our, on our safety vessel out there. So our independent students are here. They're getting ready to get up on, get up on the onto the gangway, up onto the ship, and then they're gonna start jumping. We have been taking My name is Second Class Van S. I was a striker for Bravo Company this year. My ship jump was a super special experience for me, and I want to congratulate all the mugs for their accomplishments. I'm very excited to see where the school takes them in life. The opportunities here are endless. All right, folks. So as our, our independent students are getting ready to, to jump off the ship. We have been taking pictures throughout the entire event. There has also been uh, GoPro footage of, of them as they've been jumping, uh, actual like head cams. So all of these pictures will be posted Later on, uh, on our, our website, we'll also be showing um, we'll be showing you that the head cams, um, making a huge collage, huge collage uh, of all the pictures.
All right, and we have our first independent student jumper. And he's in. It's been warming up here ever so slightly. We've gone up to 64 degrees now. Wind's getting a little bit stronger. Tide's still going out, but current is definitely picking up.
Hello, this is Matt Harris, Regimental Commander. I want to congratulate the Regimental Class of 2024 for completing their preparatory training. I also want to wish you luck throughout Mug Month and the rest of your time here at the Academy. Keep working hard, get involved, and make sure to stay focused on your academics. Hello class of 2024, this is Jeff Wright, Maine Maritime Academy's Director of Alumni Relations. We're so glad to have you on campus. You are joining a long line of alumni who have completed this same ship jump tradition. Congratulations on completing the jump today and good luck with the rest of your semester.
All right, folks, we're coming up on our last little bit of a... Congratulations to the class of 2024 on one of the first milestones in your career as a student here at the Academy. And that's it, folks. So I want to say thank you for turning in today and sharing Ship Jump 2020 with us. We'll be sharing photos and videos of this event on social media, and this live stream coverage will be attached to our website. We hope to see you all in person soon. But in the meantime, stay safe, and thank you for your support. Have a wonderful day, everyone.